Welcome back to your favorite AI channel, the AI Trail. Today, we're unpacking some transformative developments from NVIDIA, a titan of technology, and exploring the ways in which these advancements are revolutionizing various industries. Buckle up, because there's a lot to cover. NVIDIA, under the visionary leadership of CEO Jensen Huang, has revolutionized the computer graphics landscape. In a span of just a few years, they've amped up computing performance by an astounding a thousand times. But it's not just about faster computing. Today, we're diving into NVIDIA's evolution in accelerated computing, its powerful supercomputers, and the integrity role of AI in its innovation ecosystem. Let's give the floor to NVIDIA's CEO to shed light on these innovations. In five years, we improved the computer graphics by 1,000 times using accelerated computing and artificial intelligence. I have a lot to tell you, very little time, so let's get going. Ray tracing, simulating the characteristics of light and materials is the ultimate accelerated computing challenge. Six years ago, we demonstrated for the very first time rendering this scene in less than a few hours. Let's take a look at the difference in just five years. Roll it. This is running on CUDA GPUs six years ago, rendering this beautiful image that would have otherwise taken a couple of hours on a CPU. So this was a giant breakthrough already. Enormous speed up running on accelerated computing. So NVIDIA has a staggering breakthrough in rendering speed. What used to take hours to render a complex scene is now achieved in minutes thanks to NVIDIA's RTX GPU and the CUDA computing model. This acceleration could revolutionize industries such as animation and game development, where rendering speed is crucial. By enabling faster rendering, NVIDIA is fueling a wave of creativity and productivity, allowing developers to iterate and refine their work in real time. It also means shorter time to market for new games and animated features, benefiting consumers and the industry alike. However, NVIDIA's ambitions extend far beyond improved rendering speeds. Huang unveiled the NVIDIA Avatar Cloud Engine, also known as ACE. This unique AI-based tool is designed to breathe life into digital avatars, but its application is not limited to entertainment alone. ACE is a powerful tool for game developers, allowing them to infuse non-playable characters with AI-driven language interactions, making the game experience more immersive. This technology could reshape the future of game development, offering unique possibilities for more personalized, interactive, and engaging gameplay. The significance of ACE and similar technologies goes beyond gaming or graphics. The true marvel lies in the fundamental shift in software development. Programmers are no longer siloed. They're working side by side with AI supercomputers. In this collaborative landscape, AI and humans function in tandem, catalyzing a new era of AI factories. These AI factories, equipped with NVIDIA's technology, could enhance productivity across industries, automating tasks, improving improving quality assurance, and paving the way for unprecedented innovation. Let's tune in to connect the dots and see what Jensen, NVIDIA's CEO, has to say about this. Today we're announcing NVIDIA ACE Avatar Cloud Engine that is designed for animating to bringing a digital avatar to life. It has several characteristics, several capabilities, speech recognition, text-to-speech, natural language understanding, basically a large language model, and using the sound that you will be generating with your voice, animate the face. And using the sound and the expression that you're saying, animate your gestures. All of this is completely trained by AI. Let's explore NVIDIA's embrace of generative AI, a field where AI learns information structure and recombines it to generate new content. This transformative capability of AI can be seen in applications like NVIDIA's Maxine 3D, a video conferencing technology running on the NVIDIA Grace Hopper Superchip. Maxine 3D elevates video conferencing to a new level, using cloud services to convert 2D videos into 3D and generating a more engaging communication experience. This could revolutionize industries that rely on heavily remote communication, such as remote education, telehealth, and virtual events. By providing a more immersive, interactive experience, Maxine 3D could help overcome the limitations of distance and technology, making global collaboration more efficient and impactful. Let's check out what NVIDIA has to say about this incredible technology. The future of wireless and video communications will be 3D, generated by AI. 
let's take a look at how NVIDIA Maxine 3D, running on the NVIDIA Grace Hopper Super Chip, can enable 3D video conferencing on any device without specialized software or hardware. Starting with a standard 2D camera sensor that's in most cell phones, laptops, and webcams, and tapping into the processing power of Grace Hopper, Maxine 3D converts these 2D videos to 3D using cloud services. This brings a new dimension to video conferencing with Maxine 3D visualization, creating an enhanced sense of depth and presence. You can dynamically adjust the camera to see every angle in motion. Engage with others more directly with enhanced eye contact. And personalize your experience with animated avatars, stylizing them with simple text prompts. With Maxine's language capabilities, your avatar can speak in other languages, even ones you don't know. NVIDIA, AI, Life Army Singa, Function, and NVIDIA were. SSK AI will motivate communication digits. NVIDIA Maxine 3D, together with Grace Hopper, bring immersive 3D video conferencing to anyone with a mobile device, revolutionizing the way we connect, communicate, and collaborate. In the world of robotics, NVIDIA is also making strides. AI is being used to transform text to animation, facilitating the creation of realistic robotic movements. Robots play an increasingly vital role in industries like manufacturing, healthcare, and logistics. With NVIDIA's advancements, robots can be more versatile, accurate, and efficient, further enhancing their role in these sectors. Let's turn our attention to NVIDIA's CEO and his insights on this matter. Now let me talk to you about the next phase of AI. In the future, you would say to your robot, I would like you to do something and the robot will understand your words and it would generate animation. Remember, you can go from text to text. You can go from text to image. You can go from text to music. Why can't you go from text to animation? And so, of course, in the future, robotics will be highly revolutionized by the technology we already have in front of us. However, how does this robot know that the motion that it is generating is grounded in reality. You need a software system that understands the laws of physics. Let me show you everything that you're about to see is a simulation. Let's roll it, please.
everything was a simulation, nothing was art. But NVIDIA's innovation doesn't stop at robotics. They're fusing AI with their Omniverse platform to create a reinforcement learning loop. This allows AI to adapt to real-world physics offering more accurate interaction between AI and the physical world. Imagine a world where AI-powered machinery can learn and adapt to changes in its environment in real time. It could revolutionize fields like automation, manufacturing, logistics, and even disaster response. NVIDIA is also making strategic partnerships to broaden the impact of their technology globally. A notable example is the partnership with SoftBank, introducing the Grace Hopper Superchip into distributed data centers in Japan. This collaboration could facilitate facilitate access to generative AI and wireless applications, reducing the costs and energy consumption while enhancing the computational power available to the business. We should now hear from the CEO of NVIDIA himself on this issue. Basically what's happening here, this computer that you're seeing here, allows us to bring generative AI into every single data center in the world today. Because we have software-defined 5G, then the telecommunication network can also become a computing platform like the cloud data centers. Every single data center in the future could be intelligent, could be software-defined, whether it's internet-based, networking-based, or 5G communications-based. Everything will be software-defined. And we're announcing a partnership with SoftBank to re-architect and implement generative AI and software-defined 5G stack into the network of SoftBank data centers around the world. Really excited about this collaboration. There's also the collaboration with WPP, the world's largest ad agency, to develop an omniverse-based content engine. This could revolutionize advertising by automating content production, offering endless possibilities for personalized, targeted content that can be rapidly scaled. In robotics, NVIDIA has launched the NVIDIA Isaac AMR platform, a full-stack solution from chips to sensors for everyone wanting to build robots. This democratization of robotics technology could spark a wave of innovation, with diverse applications ranging from consumer products to industrial machinery. It's safe to say that NVIDIA is on a path to reprogram the future of technology with its groundbreaking AI advancements. Trillions of dollars are being invested in these technologies, and the outcomes promise to be revolutionary. From changing the landscape of game development and video conferencing to transforming how robots interact with the world, NVIDIA is shaping the future. Whether we realize it or not, these innovations will play an integral part in our daily lives in the years to come. Now, I would like to go over a full list of top announcements that I gathered from NVIDIA this year. 1. NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 4060 Ti GPU for gamers is now in full production and being produced in large quantities with partners in Taiwan. 2. Huang announced the NVIDIA Avatar Cloud Engine. Ace for gamers, a customizable AI model foundry service with pre-trained models for game developers. It will give NPCs more character through AI-powered language interactions. 3. NVIDIA CUDA Computing Model now serves 4 million developers and more than 3,000 applications. CUDA has seen 40 million downloads, including 25 million just last year alone. 4. Full volume production of GPU server HGX H100 has begun and is being manufactured by companies all over Taiwan, Huang said. He added it is the world's first computer that has a transformer engine in it. 5. Huang referred to NVIDIA's 2019 acquisition of supercomputer chipmaker Mellanox for $6.9 billion as one of the greatest strategic decisions it has ever made. 6. Production of the next generation of Hopper GPUs will start in August 2024, exactly two years after the first generation started manufacture. 7. NVIDIA's GH200 Grace Hopper is now in full production. The superchip boosts 4 petaflops TE, 72 ARM CPUs connected chip-to-chip -chip link, HBM3, and 576 GPU memory. Wong described it as the world's first accelerated computing processor that also has a giant memory. This is a computer, not a chip. It is designed for high resilience data center applications. 8. If the Grace Hopper's memory is not enough, Nvidia has the solution with DGX GH200. It's made by first connecting 8 Grace Hoppers together with 3 NVLink switches, then connecting the pods together at 900 gigabytes together. Then finally, 32 are joined together with another layer of switches to connect a total of 256 Grace Hopper chips. The resulting Exaflops Transformer engine has 144 terabytes GPU memory and functions as a giant GPU. Huang said the Grace Hopper is so fast it can run the 5G stack in software. Google Cloud, Meta, and Microsoft will be the first companies to have access to the DGX GH200 and will perform research into its capabilities. 9. NVIDIA and Software
SoftBank have entered into a partnership to introduce the Grace Hopper Superchip into SoftBank's new distributed data centers in Japan. They will be able to host generative AI and wireless applications in a multi-tenant common server platform, reducing costs and energy. 10. The SoftBank NVIDIA partnership will be based on NVIDIA's MGX reference architecture, which is currently being used in partnership with companies in Taiwan. It gives system manufacturers a modular reference architecture to help them build more than 100 server variations for AI, accelerated computing, and Omniverse uses. Companies in partnership include ASRAW, Rack, Asus, Gigabyte, Hegatron, QCT, and Supermicro. 11. Huang announced the Spectrum X accelerated networking platform to increase the speed of Ethernet-based clouds. It includes the Spectrum 4 switch, which has 128 ports of 400 gigabyte per second and 51.2 terabyte per second. The switch is designed to enable a new type of Ethernet, Huang said, and was designed end-to-end -to, -end to do adaptive routing, isolate performance, and do in-fabric computing. It also includes the Bluefield 3 Smart NIC, which includes the Spectrum 4 switch to perform congestion control. 12. WPP, the largest ad agency in the world, has partnered with NVIDIA to develop a content engine based on NVIDIA Omniverse. It will be capable of producing photos and video content to be used in advertising. 13. Robot platform NVIDIA Isaac AMR is now available for anyone who wants to build robots and is full stack from chips to sensors. Isaac AMR starts with a chip called Nova Orin and is the first robotics full reference stack, said Wong. So that concludes our deep dive into NVIDIA's impressive suite of AI technologies. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech updates at AI Trail, your trusted partner for legit AI explainers. Until next time, let's keep exploring the fascinating world of technology together.